Hello everybody, our next camera is the Olympus Infinity Zoom 2000. It was also known as the Super Zoom 70 and apparently the Acura in some markets. It's from 1993. The zoom range is 38 to 70 millimeters. Not so super, so that was more of a marketing thing. The lens is five elements in four groups. It's a decent little lens, even though it's not super bright. At widest, 38 millimeters, it's at 4.5. And uh, when you zoom, use this rocker here to zoom, its uh, widest is f7.8 at 70 millimeters. So not a super bright lens, but it's nice and sharp. The shutter, uh, they call it a lens shutter. It's in between a couple of lens elements goes from one second to one five hundredth of a second. So the zoom range, uh, the aperture range, the shutter range, everything is smack in the middle of the road. You know, it's a inexpensive little walk around point and shoot. It uses active infrared autofocus. They're behind this tinted thing right here. Uh, it can autofocus from 0.6 meters to infinity it's about two feet at closest range. You get autofocus lock with a half press. There's a green autofocus indicator in the viewfinder. Also in the viewfinder is you know, your center mark for what you're autofocused on. Um, there are parallax marks. The viewfinder does zoom. There's also an orange flash ready light inside the viewfinder. It has a normal suite of flash modes, you cycle through them using this blue button right here, has auto where it decides to fire, auto S, which is red eye reduction, it does the little pre-fire off if you're in a museum or something like that, and then fill where it always fires. They don't give a guide number, but the range at widest is 0.6 to 3.8 meters, about 2 to 12 and a half feet, and when you're zoomed all the way out, uh, it's 0.6 to 2.2 meters, about 2 feet to 7.2 feet, I think. And those uh, ranges are given at ISO 100. It has a 12 second self timer, and that same button uh, configures it if there was an optional remote control. It's auto load, uh, I'll show you that. You just put it in here. Uh, align the uh, film leader with this mark over here, put it in, it's auto load, auto advance, auto rewind. You can do a mid-roll rewind with this little recessed button in between the two buttons on the top deck. Reads DX encoded film from 50 to 3200. Like most of these, if uh, it's outside that range or the canister is not marked, it defaults to ISO 100. One thing I really, really like about this camera, um, it can use two double A's, or in this fatter section in the middle, it can use one CR123 battery. So that's nice, so you can find batteries for this no matter where you were. This is a quartz date version, and you almost never use that, but you set the mode here, and then you set your date and time and the imprinting format I have it turned off, that's why it's all dashes across here. It has a frame counter, a battery check, um, your flash mode, your date and time mode. Um, pretty informative. So it's a simple to use little camera. Everything is middle of the road. You know, you'd have to work at it to get great shots, but with the flash and a decent uh, zoom range, you're gonna get good shots. Um, I probably won't shoot with this guy again, at least for a while, but uh, I split a test roll with another camera, so that one's up next. Hi, Goo! Anyway, that one's up next, and I'll see you then.